Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel. So as part of today's video, I'm going to share how we can import a CSV file in Jira. Let's say there is a need in a project where we have got an Excel file which contains some information. It could be the list of issues. It could be the list of user stories. How we can import that CSV file in our Jira project. So uh, that will be the topic for today. So we will start. So I am sharing uh, the Jira app and the projects that have been created in this app. And uh, this is the Atlassian Jira app, the free uh, trial version. So the project that we will use for our CSV import will be my Scrum 25. That is the key with MYS. So if I select this project and if I go to the backlog, so we can see uh, we do not have anything placed in the product backlog. So the blue one is the product black backlog. The master list, it contains zero issues and we have three user stories placed in the my sprint core. Uh, we can also look at the list view. So uh, in list view, we have some stories uh, marked as done and that this user story which is for to do is part of the my sprint core so in order to import the csv file uh, what we will have to do is we have to go to the issues and uh, on this right side we see more actions and we will have to click on import issues from csv but but before that let's have a look at the csv file so this is our sample CSV file, which is import stories in Jira. And we have the very first line defined as a header. We have a summary header. We have a description, the issue type, status, priority, and created. So this is how we have placed the four stories in this CSV file. The very first one, online payment using debit card. That's the summary. Then we have a description, debit card user story. Issue type is a story. Status is marked as to-do. Priority is medium. So uh, similarly, we have uh, placed uh, the remaining user story. So there are four user stories as part of this CSV file, and we will see, you know, how these four user stories. Uh, this is a simple example of a CSV file, and we will see how this CSV gets imported. So what we will do is we will go back to the uh, issues, and we will click on more actions. We will click on import issues from CSV, and uh, we will select this file here, import stories in Jira. So the file is selected here. We click on the next. So now here from the project drop down, we will say my scrum 25 is the name of the project and the delimiter is the comma and we say next. We keep all the other options as default one. Now here we can uh, select some of the fields. Uh, it says like, please note a Jira summary field mapping is required to enable import. So summary is this one. So we definitely have to select the summary. So summary is mapped to the Jira field summary. Similarly, we can say description is mapped to the jira field description we have issue type mapped with the issue type in the jira we have priority mapped with the priority here and uh, do we have a let's see whether we have a status here so if status is not selected here so we will keep it as it is and uh, if i click on the next we say validate so what it will do is it will try to validate the csv file that we have created so it is currently checking so it says you know the file is validated successfully the validator didn't find anything wrong you can now safely begin your import four issues will be created correctly so what we will do is we will click on the begin import so it is importing current currently So it says like zero projects and four issues imported successfully. If we can look at, you can download a detailed log of this import as well. So if I click on the detailed log, so we can see the keys that have been created for the four issues. So we have MYS 42 been created for the first story. We have 43 for the second one. We have MYS 44 for the third one and MYS 45 for the fourth one. So the four stories have been created. So now what we can do is we can click on the list and uh, if we see here so these are the four stories that have been created so we have online payments using debit card the mys 42 43 44 and 45 and if you if you look at this one this is how it is like mys 42 43 44 and 45 
and uh, if I if I look at the MYS 44 if I try to open it in a new tab so we can see this is our story and uh, MYS 44 which is dev environment setup the description is dev environment setup we can verify this is our dev environment setup and the priority is set as high so this is the one where we set the priority as high Similarly, we can also look at the test environment setup, the 45, if I click on this one. So its priority is set as medium. This is test environment setup, and this is set like test environment setup after dev environment is done. If I look, go back, it says like, yo, this is our summary, this is our description, the priority is medium. So this was a simple example how we can uh, import a csp file which contains a list of issues in our case we took an example of four user stories we imported them uh, we will see some complex versions of the csp file import in the further videos but i hope you guys uh, like today's video and if you are new to this channel please do share and subscribe thank you so much